Hello, fight fans. Thanks for joining us at MMA Insider. Before we get rolling with today's news, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing. Now let's uncover the latest happenings in MMA. Starting off, Conor McGregor weighs in on the controversial Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou result. Moving on, Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury have released statements regarding the outcome of their fight. Lastly, UFC fans absolutely destroyed Dana White with their comments following the boxing match between Francis and Fury. Conor McGregor has shared his thoughts on Tyson Fury's controversial split decision win over Francis Ngannou. The bout was touted as the battle of the baddest, and many of MMA's biggest stars, including Conor McGregor, were in attendance for the spectacle. While many anticipated the contest to be nothing more than a tune-up fight for Tyson Fury, that did not prove to be the case. Instead, Fury and Ngannou went toe-to-toe -to -toe for 10 straight rounds in highly competitive back-and-forth affair. The former UFC heavyweight champion was actually able to drop Fury with a left hand in round three, and many fans and pundits actually scored the contest in favor of Francis. Unfortunately for Francis and Ngannou, two of the ringside judges were not as impressed, and Tyson Fury ultimately walked away with a split-decision victory. Shortly following the conclusion of tonight's hotly debated result, Conor McGregor spoke with TNT Sports, where he shared the following assessment of the fight. Lovely shot caught in the back of the head. Not off balance as well, but yeah, fair play to Tyson. He's a tough man as well, strong chin. And Jesus, Ngan is a powerful boy as well. Tyson couldn't hurt him. Tyson could not hurt him. He kept, he was just, he was just missing with that backhand. Great fight, great to watch. Heavyweight boxing is exciting, <laughs> especially from the ringside. That's the two guys I'm at the scene now. Ringside, I saw Anthony Joshua in his performance against uh, the Finnish the guy. And now I saw uh, Fury. Whoa, that's just some great fights in the boxing uh, heavyweight division. It's on fire at the minute. And Adi Usyk and into that, it's going to be too fast for Fury as well. But then also I think Gano into that. <laughs> and, um, you never know, let's see Tyson, you never know. I, I wish them all well, fair play to them. In addition to Conor McGregor, both fighters involved, Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury, commented on the bout and its outcome. Ngannou stated that he should have won, and that only thanks to the judges did Fury secure a points victory. Tyson should say thank you to those two judges because I didn't win this fight. On the other hand, Fury praised Ngannou, mentioning the challenge of boxing against him, noting Francis's unique fighting style. Listen, he was very awkward. He was, um, wasn't coming forward. He was standing back waiting for me to land my punches and then trying to counter. He was a good fighter. He's given me uh, probably one of my toughest fights in the last 10 years. It's a part of boxing, you know. I got caught behind the head again. I wasn't, I wasn't uh, legs hurt or nothing. I was all right. And I got back up and it was what it was. Got back to me boxing. When Francis opted to leave the UFC championship belt behind last year, the reaction was overwhelmingly negative. Fight fans were understandably disappointed that dream fights like John Jones versus Ngannou were no longer going to happen, but there was also an ugly shade of possession. How dare Ngannou buck the norm and opt to bet on himself, standing in opposition of the UFC machine. A machine which, of course, did its best to immediately deny his existence from its history. Dana White has repeatedly pointed out that Francis's move was a misstep, emphasizing that he missed the chance to secure financial success in the UFC. White went so far as to downplay every accomplishment of Francis and referred to his anticipated bout with Fury as a waste of money, energy, and time. We found snippets for you showcasing what Dana has been saying about Francis, which you can listen to in the following segment. Afterward, we'll share comments from UFC fans who are criticizing Dana and the UFC as the biggest losers from the recent boxing match between Francis and Fury. Francis wants to take zero risks. Doesn't want to take any chances. Um, and he d obviously didn't want to take a chance against John Jones. And after we saw what happened with Cyril gone, you know, I, I don't blame him. I think the outcome would have been exactly the same. And I'm sure most of you do, and I'm sure Francis does too. It's just the fact that he doesn't want to take any risk. He wants to, you know, PFL's going to pay this guy to train for a boxing match that may not even happen and that they might not even be involved in. How, how does that make any sense? It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, Anthony Joshua called it a gimmick fight this week. He, he, when asked about that fight, he's like, I'm focused on fighting the best guys in the world. I, I'm not interested in a gimmick fight right now. And that's one of the big problems with boxing right now. It's all about these gimmicky type fights. And that's just not what I do here. It's not what I do. Francis could have done a, a deal here. Francis just thinks like that he's in a position where he's got some Conor McGregor Mayweather fight on his hands, which he does not. That, that, that fight was like a once in a life 
lifetime type deal, fight that I wasn't very interested in. Um, and uh, but but at the end of the day, it became so big. The right guys, the right time, the right place. The fans wanted it, so so we did it and we got it done. MMA guys versus boxers doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but I know that he thinks there's there's all this money in it. I disagree. After everything that transpired between Dana and Francis and following last night's fight, these are just some of the comments from UFC fans condemning Dana and the UFC for letting Francis leave the UFC in his prime. Great businessmen don't let their ego get in the way. Dana fumbled this so much it's actually embarrassing. Get ready for a world-class lesson in when Dana is asked about this in his next press conference. Imagine if the UFC had just let Nganu box while under contract, they would have a superstar on their roster after tonight. Then booking Francis versus Jones coming off this fight. We're talking about probably the biggest pay-per-view in MMA history. Dana White and UFC fumbled the bag. Dana just s as a promoter and is such a proven lying scumbag that only the dumbest of dumb f takes him seriously. The man actively trashes his fighters for not towing the company line. He trashes them for putting their safety and well-being above his interests and buries former fighters who left the promotion on bad terms even if they had Hall of Fame worthy careers. Dana's old and needs to be replaced already. Props to him for everything he's done for the sport up until now, but time's a changin' and perhaps he's better off gone now. His decisions have been questionable recently. Francis puts on a great performance and arguably won that fight. In the same week, Jones tears his muscle and the big UFC heavyweight fight is off and might never get made if Stipe retires. The best part of the whole thing is how upset Dana White must be. The next UFC press conference is going to be beautiful. The MMA journalists better not shit the bed and sugarcoat their questions. Dana gonna be so mad and so red. People thought Nganu fumbled the bag, but maybe Jones was the one who did. Should have never signed that eight fight deal with Dana. Kill Cyril and Stipe, build your heavyweight hype, then leave for the PFL to fight Nganu in Saudi Arabia. Jonathan Martinez didn't think Sean O'Malley was going to one day rule over his division. The rising UFC bantamweight contender didn't think O'Malley was going to crown himself champion in what's become one of the toughest divisions in the UFC today. Yet, O'Malley shocked many by stopping Aljamain Sterling in the main event of UFC 292 back in August. Martinez thinks the result speaks to the unpredictability of the sport, sees Chito Vera stopping him in rematch. Talking to the media, this is what he said. This sport is very tough, and we got tiny gloves, so anything can happen in this sport. A bad strike, you bring your guard down for a second, and that's it. You're out, and the other guy is the champion. I see that rematch. I think that Cheeto wins that one. I've never seen Sean fight five rounds, but I can see a lot of heart in Cheeto. And as the fight goes on, he just gets better and better. I think that he can get a stoppage in the fourth round. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Your dedication and support fuel our passion to bring you the latest and greatest in the MMA world. If you enjoyed today's news, please give us a thumbs up and share with fellow MMA fans. Remember to subscribe to stay in the loop with daily MMA updates. We've got a lot of exciting news, interviews, and analysis coming your way every single day. Your engagement helps us grow and serve the MMA community even better. Once again, thank you for being an integral part of our daily MMA journey.